hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is actually from yisha flesha so tell your friends in Carter douglas Moreau digitally destroys medai o medai hassan at anti-semitism debate hope i got that med okay med he med he hassan let's check out what this video is about this guy douglas murray he deserves like more prizes he because he doesn't deserve just a prize from Israel. He deserves a prize from the world for being an amazing truth teller. And here he is defeating the lies that the anti-Israel folks are actually pro-Arab or pro-Arab rights. They're not. They're actually there to destroy Israel. And he proves it. One, two, three. He proves it from the case of Pakistan. He proves it that nobody cares about Arabs getting murdered and destroyed in Syria. He just lays it out so smoothly with that amazing British accent. Anyway, I just thought that here on the way <laughs> to the, the Knesset accent. in Israel, in Jerusalem, I thought it would be, you know, a good moment to think about Douglas Murray and how he puts on an amazing display of truth telling. So I really, I, I, you know, hats off. And if I could give you another prize from Israel, I would, but it's not a prize just from Israel. It's a prize from the world mm. because the world so desperately needs truth tellers right now in this period of, uh, in this, in this era of social media and so many wow. lies that are spread here's douglas murray and here's my part to bring that truth and to be frank we don't have so many persons telling the truth and willing to you know, stick their life and say it because we know that we are in the era where people are being attacked for being truthful let's be honest so i give it to him without to the world thank you very much there's quite a lot to reply to there um let me first say gideon uh you started with a peroration about me not mentioning the Palestinian casualties. That's because I started by mentioning the war. And there is no law of war that says you're allowed to start a war and then complain when you lose it. Mm, come on! You don't start a war and complain when you lose it. Because this guy, he's too intelligent. And, and if Mehdi cares about the Palestinian casualties, as I'm sure he does, then tell your bosses in Qatar to tell their friends in Gaza to stop the war and give back the hostages. Um, Gideon says nothing, Israel needs nothing more than criticism. As if Israel doesn't get criticism. Wow, he doesn't even read his own country's press. Um, uh, by the way, you said the other day in an interview, Gideon, I couldn't care less about the Jewish state. So we know very well where you're coming from. Yeah. Um, let me just say a couple of things about the, about, that I didn't get to in my opening remarks, but are important. You know, if you didn't throng the streets of this city or any other for the actual genocide going on in Sudan, not the one that Mehdi and Gideon pretend is happening, but the actual genocide going on in Sudan. If you didn't spend weekend after weekend doing that, but you did come out for the post-October the 7th protests, you're an anti-Semite. If, if, if like Mehdi once sent a tweet condemning that, it doesn't give you quite enough smoke cover. Yeah. You know, if you protested not a bit, didn't set up a tent when Bashar al-Assad was killing six times the number of people in a decade that Israel and all of its enemies have lost in 75 years of war, you are an anti-Semite. And I would just add one other thing. I know that the media has tried to reframe the motion. I'm not going to allow it either. You know, maybe there is somebody in the world, Pakistan was invented, created as a state around the same time as Israel. I reckon that if this debate tonight was about Pakistan, Pakistan started a lot of wars, it suffered a lot of wars, it suffered a lot of casualties, caused a lot of casualties. But you know what, if somebody said, I don't, I think Pakistan should be abolished. They just don't have the right to a state, and although they had one set up for them many decades ago, we should abolish it. I think people would say, Hmm. And then if the person said, but, oh, by the way, although I want to abolish that state, I have no problem with the Pakistani people. Please, please, of course you would. 
All right, I hope you enjoyed Douglas Murray. I'm on the way to the Knesset, uh, hopefully to also do my own truth talking here, uh, talking a little truth to power. Uh, and that's exactly what we need to be doing right now. There are so many lies out there. And the folks that yeah. bravely put out the truth, clearly, simply, bravely, that's actually the service that we need from everybody right now, just to talk truth and talk it simply and with courage, lay it out to anybody that, that you know wants to hear something serious and even those that don't. And it makes all the difference in the world right now. Truth is the ultimate courage today, and that's what's needed. God bless you folks. Ishai Fleischer on the way to the Knesset. Don't forget to subscribe and be part of... Uh... Mr. Douglas, ever since the first I heard, heard him speak, ah, I had a lot of respect for him. He's brave. And I love, I love the, the authority with which he speaks. Nobody can shut him up because he... He does his research so well, and it's always obvious in each debate you find it that this guy has done his own work. And he knows who is amongst the debates. He knows what you've been doing, what you've done so far, where you even stand regarding the topic at hand. He knows. So he's using everything as, you know, in his arsenal. Like, I love it so much. And people pretend as if it's only the war going on in Israel and Pakistan, that's um, Israel and Gaza, that's the only war going on. Christians have been killed all over the world. People don't even say anything. Like, it's happening even as we're talking. Nobody's saying anything about that one. But I don't know why so much attention is being paid to this. And everybody's making it look as if, oh, that Israel are doing something horrible. This is the only thing going on in the world. I want to read a comment here. Someone just said, um, I have a very pro-Palestine cousin. I asked her a simple question. Quotation mark. Who would you like to be governed by, Jews or Muslims? And answer honestly, quotation, quote, end of quote. She really took her time as I gazed at her. She tried to change the subject and, and I interrupted. It's always the case. They will try to change the subject. And I interrupted, no, answer the question. And she said, Jews. She never brings it up with me again. I saw a video. It was yesterday I saw this video where... Somebody dressed up like a drag queen, dressed up like a drag queen and went into, you know, the pride parade. So he was not asking them question. The question he was asking the people, they couldn't even answer. And you are supporting Palestine. Well, asking the person that, are you aware that if you go to Palestine, the way you are dressed and the, you identify as gay or anything, that you'll be, you know, you'll be unalived. Are you aware? She was not like, no, it's Israel that is doing that. Israel is a Muslim state. When I heard that, I was like, eh? From where to where? Are you even aware of what you're supporting? Like, it goes to show how much they don't even know anything. Like, they have zero knowledge. And they're willing to die for it. Ignorance. And that is the way, that's the way the, the world has come to now. People are supporting what they, they don't even have an idea of. Just because the majority are headed that way. Or it's what, our, what we identify, what our people are supporting. So let's support it. Despite the fact that I don't even know what they're supporting. I have no knowledge about it. But I'll go because I'm going there. We need to start educating ourselves. Stop supporting blindly. Whether you're supporting Israel or you're supporting whatever you're supporting. Be aware, know what you're supporting, so that when somebody asks you a question, you can back up your claim with knowledgeable answers. Well, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.